Good morning. I'd like to share something from God's Word with us this morning to help and encourage. Very well-known passage of Scripture. We all know it. We all love it. Acts chapter 2, verse 42. And I want to speak about the four principles of walking with God. Now, Acts chapter 2 is a very special chapter in the Bible because we see here the arrival of the New Testament church. A group of people made up of both Jew and Gentile who have faith and trust in the Lord Jesus Christ's death and resurrection, they've been given the Holy Spirit to indwell them as a deposit, guaranteeing that Jesus Christ will return for his bride has purchased possession. But we see here, they get saved, they get baptized, they get saved under the preaching of the Word of God, they get baptized. But when we come to verse 42, this is the first ever recorded things that they did. This is the first principles that they applied and I call them the four pillars of walking with God. Let's read them together. They continually devoted themselves to the apostles' teaching, to fellowship, to the breaking of bread, and to prayer. Four principles, four things that the early church done that sets an example for me and you to follow in their footsteps this morning. I believe that Satan's plan is to take us away from these four things. Sometimes we get so caught up with life, we get caught up with looking at other Christians, we get caught up with listening to the voice of the enemy, we get caught up with business, we get caught, caught up with all these things and the distractions. But if we could find a way back this morning just to simply devote our entire life to four basic but yet effective principles... I promise God would bless, God would strengthen, God would encourage, we would grow, we would mature in the things of God. Brothers and sisters, imagine a chair. A chair has got four legs. If you take one of them legs away, or any of them legs away, that chair is going to fall. And so it is with the child of God this morning. If we stop studying the Word, if we stop having fellowship with God's people, if we stop coming to church to remember the, the death of Jesus Christ and breaking bread, and if we are absent from the prayer closet, we're not going to last. You're going to fall and you're going to backslide. You're going to become weak. You're going to go through the motions and you're going to fall. But you know, it's them four pillars that keeps, it's them four legs that keeps the chair standing and it's these four pillars that keeps me and you standing this morning. To study the word of God, to have fellowship with God's people, to break bread and to pray. Now, can I just say something? You might pray, <clears throat> but there's praying, then there's praying. There's having a couple of minutes and bringing microwave prayers before God and asking God for everything. But then there's saturating ourselves in God's presence and really praying from our heart in the power of God's Holy Spirit. You might read your Bible occasionally from time to time. You might cherry pick little verses or have... Um, uh, an odd two or three minutes here or there. The early church devoted themselves to the apostles' doctrine. It's not a case of reading the Bible for a few minutes. That's never going to sustain us. They were in the word of God on a daily, daily basis. You might have fellowship from time to time. Once in a, in a blue moon, you might jump in the car and you maybe go and see another Christian. Or you might be one of those who wallow in self-pity that nobody comes to see you and... Um, why you're so lonely and nobody cares for you. Brothers and sisters, it's time that we apply these four principles of walking with God to our hearts and lives. It's so simple, yet it's so profound. It's what man may call it the basics, but it, you, re, you see it's the essential things that we need. And it's only four of them. God, you see, the Lord has never complicated our Christianity. We complicate it. We take our eyes off the Lord and we, we look to the problems, we look to situations, we look to people, we look to bad examples and bad testimonies. And what happens is all of these things drive us away from these four principles. But it's so simple. Please just let me remind you this morning. Study the Word of God on a daily basis. Pray and seek God's face on a daily basis. Have fellowship as much as you possibly can. Come to church and break bread. It's so simple. We complicate it sometimes, but it's so simple. Now, the wonderful thing is, is that when the church applied these principles, look what God done in the next verse. 
verse 43. Everyone kept a feeling, a sense of awe, and many wonders and signs were taking place through the apostles. Miracles was happening. Wonders was happening through the apostles' hands. People were getting healed. People were getting delivered. People who were in bondage to Satan were getting released. Miracles. The blind were seeing. The dead was being raised. The cripples were walking. Why? It's because the church was being the church. Apply these four pillars to your life and I promise you, you cannot fail. And when the days become dark and the enemy comes in like a flood, you will be able to stand strong because you're supported by these pillars that God has set forth for me and for you this morning. They devoted their life to the apostles' doctrine, to fellowship, to the breaking of bread, and to prayers. May the Lord bless everyone he is this morning. I pray this has helped and encouraged you in Jesus' name.